Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we display a read only table on service catalog item. This was a requirement given to me whenever a user wants to order a laptop or any other hardware asset, we have to show him the list of existing assets which are assigned to him so that he doesn't reorder or he is aware of whatever is assigned to him. To create this type of table on service catalog, we need couple of things. The first is you will have to create a catalog item for this test purpose we will create one and then we will create a variable of variable type HTML in that catalog item and then we will write a catalog client script if you are not aware of client scripts please click on the top right corner and finally we will write a script include for this and to retrieve the records from the CMDB CI table we will use glide Ajax if you are not aware about Glide Ajax, please click on the top right corner. And now we will go to service now where I already have created one catalog item. I will type maintain items and I will click on this. And if you can see I have already created a catalog item called HTML test. If I scroll down, there is a variable of type HTML which you will also need to create to display that particular table. I have given the name of this particular variable as list underscore of underscore assets so it displays the list of assets assigned to current user and if you notice I have made this as read only I'll let you know why I have made this as read only and if I go back and under catalog client scripts you would be able to see I have created one catalog client script already which is calling a script include in the glide ajax and let me open this script include I'll click on this get asset details and if you can see this particular script include actually creates a table in the HTML and I have written the HTML code here and then I have queried the CMDB CI table and I'm getting the current logged in user and after that in this table I'm adding a row and a column and the column consists of asset tag serial number and the model which ever is assigned to that particular user and in the table headers I have also defined the asset tag which will be displayed as it is with the width of 33 percent and then the serial number and the model name so under these headers those values will be defined whichever is assigned to that particular user if I go back to the catalog client script I'm assigning whatever is returned from this script include that is the table code or the HTML code and as soon as I return this here I'm setting the variable value to that particular answer in the glide Ajax let let us quickly test this in the service portal and I will also paste the catalog client script and the script include in the description of this video I will go to request something and I will search for my HTML test item and you would be able to see it's appearing here on the search and as soon as it loads there are two assets which are currently assigned to system administrator and their asset tag serial number and model name are displayed here and if you remember I had made this variable as read only and I will show you if I don't make it as read only what actually happens I will save this I will go back to my service portal and refresh the page and you would be able to see that this variable shows as the HTML editable variable and the user would be able to make any changes in here and then order so to prevent this we had made this variable as read only so kindly take a note according to your requirement if you want to make this particular HTML type as read only or not it completely depends on your requirement let me know if you have any questions I hope this video was helpful to you please subscribe to my channel